Hi, Cyberspurs here, back with another Antivirus Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 204. And you can see, well, just see the runes I have. That is crazy. I can't get any upgrades, unfortunately. I could try to maybe grind this, but I think a better idea, at least at this point, like, I don't, there's no up, like, the only realistic upgrade I can get is this one. And that, that means, and the thing is that it requires Eternity and Ghostly, both Sonic runes. And that means I can, I'm free to spend as many Infinity and Quantum Balsonic runes as I want. So I think what I can do, I can max this enchant. This will increase it from 355 million to 21 billion. That's probably going to boost this by about eight times. So I'm just going to do it like this. I can, this means I can extract, um, I can extract faster, but even more than that, well, first I can oscillate the Z boson, but this is gonna be huge. I haven't really, I have not really touched W plus W minus bosons all that much. Yeah, you can just see how much faster this is. This is insane. This is gonna allow me to extract runes much quicker than ever before, and I kind of, I don't want to spend my eternity with sonic runes, which yeah, it's dumb. I have to do it like this because. Unfortunately, I can't extract runes any faster than this, but I guess I'll just do this because, well, it's well. It, the thing is, it's, it goes down really quick. But I can set my overdrive speed to a much, okay, not like that, but maybe like 2.92. That's I, I can do that. That can speed things up further. And if I want, I could try to max this. It's extremely weak. It, I, it's even weaker than I think it is. Like I'm like. Like, oh, this must actually, like, at least double it. No, it's not even doing that. It's that bad. So, I'm, re I'm really torn. Maybe I should... Um, okay, I don't think I'm going to get the Balsonic upgrade. I think what I should do instead is... Um, let's try to extract this. Um, unfortunately, just do that. That's the only solution I have. That's the problem when you have too many ru too much runes. You have, to, you have to do stuff like that and... Okay, stupid iMovie notification. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care about you. What I care about is, um, okay, I probably should turn down the Bosonic Overdrive a little bit. Now I can get some Z bosons. Um, I could try to push to get this upgrade. It's twenty five billion, and at the rate I'm getting it, at getting the bosons, it only takes about five minutes to get to twenty five billion Eternity Bosonic runes. And I can actually even do something like this where I can I can give it I can double this which will make the Z boson process even faster and I can also just give this a few more levels and I think let's let's see how quickly I'm getting this 272 per second what I would need to get the upgrade is 500,000 so that's um, hmm, that's about 35 minutes, which I can deal with. I feel like I should try to do because of, um, I can, I'm only going to be able to get one Higgs. Maybe in, what I can do while I'm waiting is do the light empowerment. So this means I go into big rip as usual, do a little stuff there. Just, I, of course I should do nano field, 128 rewards. I'm very close to 16 radioactive decays now, so maybe I should just try to get that last radioactive decay, and maybe that that'll help. I'm really not sure. I, th I think I should just I should just try to um, ghostify and everything. So what I'll, what I'll do is first I I gotta I can't forget to dilate time, even though I did that last episode. And it looks like if I go to neutrinos, are there any? I cannot get any of this. Um, I'm just to E3000 neutrinos. I still can't get any more ghost particles than before, which is kind of lame, considering how I got E1422 in like episode 100, like 180 something. It <laughs> feels like, at least. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna ghostify and um, get this, and of course get the light empowerment. So, yeah, this this will hopefully help things slightly. Of course, I will need to do the whole process where I need to... I can already get all the way to 104 rewards, which is kind of insane. And only 9 radioactive decays. 
I'm not even in big rip though, that's why. 14 radioactive cave, that's much better. And 126 orders. I'm basically back where I was almost immediately. I'm only one radioactive decay behind, and I think if I just go out of big rip one time, I will be able to like just see how far. Yeah, I can break my antimatter record. So now it would span, if I was writing the antimatter, it would span over 30% of the entire universe. So maybe what I should do now, I can see how many Z bosons I have. I should probably just keep decaying the W um, boson at this point, just to try to get more W plus so I can actually extract a little faster. I could try to also increase the overdrive speed slightly. And while, while I do that, I can just go into Big Rip one more time to get that last radioactive decay. And yeah, there is 15. I'm actually again close to 16, so there is there is the 16th radioactive decay for the first time. So you can see it's Ghost of Eyes are becoming barely resets at this point. Like all I need to do is just go in and out of Big Rip like twice and I have made all my progression back and maybe even and then some. So yeah, the thing is, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with... I could try to give a ton of levels to this, but um, I'm just kind of kind of torn again as to what I should do. I, th I think I just want to keep grinding the bosons just so I can I can reach these, the goal for this upgrade. And what even is this upgrade? It's intergalactic and infinite time rewards boost each other. I'm, again, I'm not really sure how powerful it is until I buy it, but I think it will be, at least, it'll be decently powerful. So, yeah, you can see I'm down, I'm at uh, one quintillion W minus bosons. I think once I get this, I can start grinding Z bosons again, and this will help me. And hopefully, I think I'm going to at least double what I was getting before. Like, it I was already getting 272 per second, but now I'm going to be able to get 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 720 per second. So that's pretty good. Especially if I cranked up the overdrive speed, I could definitely do that if I want it, want it to go a little bit faster, even though it's, it won't be that much faster. But at this rate, it'll take, um, to get to 500,000 from here, it will take maybe 10 minutes, which is a lot better than 35 minutes. I mean, of course, I also need to grind the Eternity Bosonic Runes. And maybe I can check Photons just to see. I'm actually I'm actually kind of close to 45 Ultraviolet Light, which is the next Light Empowerment. And also, it's one of those Light Empowerments that gives me an extra reward because of this upgrade that says you get, unlock a new boost until every um, third Light Empowerment from line empowerment 7 to 25. So I assume that's like 7, 10, 13, 16, wait, no, 19. So I already got that boost. What even was that boost? I have I have no idea. Is it this boost time theorem production? I don't remember that. Time theorems are kind of useless now. I mean, maybe I could... Actually, there, I can get all four of these upgrades. Wow. That's... I can get them up to 51 per galaxy, 53, 54, 54.75. So all those electron upgrades actually boosted my antimatter about by five quadrillion orders of magnitude, which actually is a notable difference. That will actually speed things up. It's now up to 728 runes per second from wherever I was before. And maybe even that in, in Big Rip, I'm actually going to be able to reach E200 billion in Big Rip, which is pretty huge. I'm not, I can't quite, okay, no, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stay in Big Rip until I reach that, that magical milestone. So, bear, boom, E200 billion in Big Rip. And I think, I, again, I, I just want to keep dilating time. Another 25 orders of magnitude to dilate time. That's actually huge, because that will allow me to get much farther with ghostly photons and just in antimatter as well. You can just see how how much how much faster I'm getting antimatter than before. And you can see now the limit is approaching this 45th ultraviolet light. It's actually 
somehow the bottleneck is the actual production of ghostly rays. So that that won't even take long. So I think I'm not even sure if I want to grind any more W bosons. I may not oscillate on the Z boson. I need to be oscillate on the Z boson. Why am I forgetting to do that? That's pretty pretty crucial if I want to do something. I'm deciding that I probably should just grind a few more W plus and double I mean, just W plus bosons. Um, maybe while I I wait for this. 4.89 septillion ghostly rays. I'm almost there. I'm probably gonna. It's probably about 30 seconds away. So maybe while I like right before I do that, I can switch from doing the just getting W bosons to converting W minus W plus, and that will definitely help speed up the ghostly the rate at which I get ghostly bosonic runes. So it looks like maybe I can try to see if there's any more electron upgrades. I really wish these electron upgrades were automated um, by the automator ghosts. But like even if it took a lot of automator power, it would still be really nice, but no. So anyway, we're basically there, so I'm just gonna click this and big rip just one more time so I can try to get maybe some more dilated time, more I think mostly just dilated time. That was nothing there. And so ghostify and light empowerment. So now we're up to twenty light empowerments and it says you have twenty distant light empowerments. That must mean there's a scaling in it. So the next one's full 48 ultraviolet light. So that isn't too bad, but I may start seeing jumps of like five ultraviolet light, which may be kind of brutal. So you can see again, just going in and out a big rip. I'm I basically am out of I'm, I'm getting rid of all my W minus bosons. So now you can see how much I'm getting. I'm getting. 1080 ghostly balsonic runes per second. At that rate, it will take only a few minutes to reach 500,000. And you know, it's a big rip one more time. I was already at E418 quadrillion, and I haven't even. I only had 14 radioactive decays. Now, when I want to have 16. It's going to be much faster, I think. Or, or I'm going to be able to get another few quadrillion orders of magnitude advanced matter. So it looks like, yeah, E420.69 quadrillion has been passed. So, yep, I have, I have passed that. And at this, at this point, I just want to, it's probably about three minutes until 500,000 Ghost of Sonic Runes. I could crank up the overdrive speed, but it'll only save a few seconds at most. And then I think if I want to get, what do I even want to get? 25 billion. That's like... That's less than a minute, so I only need to wait four minutes to get this last upgrade, and I feel like it's going to be good because it's intergalactic and infinite time rewards, which are the most OP achievement rewards. I mean, I'm I'm really not sure. I'm just going to wait it out. Okay, so the Ghostly Balsonic Runes are finally reached five hundred thousand, which means I can just grind the Eternity Balsonic Runes. You can see him getting 500 million per second, so it's going to take about 30 seconds to reach 25 billion. And then I'll be able to get this upgrade. I'm trying to think what I'll do, spend the Balsonic Runes on after this. I probably want to actually spend it on this, because that'll allow me to get more Higgs bosons, and it'll start me with more upgrades next run, because I kind of want to be thinking ahead rather than behind. So anyway, we're just 3 billion away. 2 billion away, 1 billion away. Finally got this up. Let's see how good it is. And wow, it's extremely powerful. It gets me all the way from E422 quadrillion to nearly E500 quadrillion. And it's a matter. That is huge. And in Big Rip, I also expect it. If it's doing that much outside of Big Rip, yeah, it has, a decent, has another decent effect in Big Rip. And... Um, Okay, no more radioactive decays, but maybe I can get more tachyon particles, a little bit more. Um, but yeah, just that much antimatter outside of a grip, that, that's huge, because that allows me to... Actually, I think I'm going to reach it. I'm going to reach the legendary milestone. E500 quadrillion antimatter. I feel I feel like I'm almost, I've almost completed the whole Higgs boson thing with... Now that I have this much antimatter. So I think what I'm going to just want to do is, yeah, I'm just going to max this. And 
This means that I can get five starting upgrades. That's actually really good. A head start of five upgrades would, re would really just help speed things up because the early will slime clap is brutal. And when I, you can see this isn't even enabled. This isn't even enabled. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be able to get five Higgs bosons next reset. That's really good. And I only, for whatever reason, I have less bosonic antimatter than before. Um, this upgrade did cost some bosonic antimatter, but I had like E30. I had like one. I had like two E34, and this costs one E33. Not exactly sure why, but um, whatever. It's um, maybe it's a bug in the code, but yeah, you just just the, being able to just reach this, and I can keep grinding more because I'm I'm gonna save this for next episode because. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty massive Higgs reset. Like, you're just getting five starting upgrades, and honestly, if I want to actually do this, I can, I can do this for whatever reason. I, um, for whatever reason, it it divides the Higgs requirement, but it also divides your bosonic antimatter, which doesn't really make any sense. Um, maybe I can get rid of the soft cap that way. Uh, no, it's actually even more soft cap. So. Yeah, I'll just I'll just do this. I will grind some more ghostly bosonic runes, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna get as much of this as possible. And this is gonna be crazy. Maybe I can get even more Higgs bosons. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.